In this video, we're going to walk through how incentive is calculated for all of the miners inside the BitTensor network. In previous videos, when we've talked about miners and how emission is distributed amongst miners, we've said, here's the incentive column and just moved on from that. But, you know, where does that number come from? And in this video, we're going to actually tackle that. But first, a little bit of a review. There's 32 subnets in BitTensor, one tau every 12 seconds. That's split up amongst all of the subnets by a percentage decided in the root subnetwork. Each subnet's distribution is further divided, 18% to subnet owners, and then 41-41 to miners and validators. That brings us to incentive. When I see incentive, I actually look at this column and think of it as percentage because the incentive column is going to add up to one for every single subnet. So when I look at this, I actually think 1.009%, 0.877%, and so on through the entire chart. Because we can take that number and multiply it times the amount of tau distributed to the miners, and that directly comes and becomes the emission, right? So if we know that the miners are getting 0.041 tau, we can multiply that times 1%, and that will give us the emission for that particular miner. So to begin our discussion of where incentive comes from, let's look one column to the left at consensus. Consensus plays a big role into how incentive is calculated. We know that the validators test all of the miners and based on how well the miners do, the validators score them and that score becomes a weight and they, they're all stack ranked, right? So the miners are stacked ranked from best to worst by each of the validators. That gets thrown into a two-dimensional matrix called the weights. And the validator UIDs are the rows and the minor UIDs are the columns. So there are a lot of zeros in there, but for the rows that are validators, we have numbers and weights for all of the miners. The consensus is, sort is you can think of it as an average or a median. It's where the scores generally fall. And what the consensus is used to do is to find any validators that are reporting a weight that is out of consensus that doesn't match the other ones. So what we can do is let's take a bunch of weights for a specific miner in a specific subnet and let's graph it compared to the consensus. And so here's a sample chart of that, right? And so we can see that there are a few uh, validators that are right on the consensus. Most of them are right uh, you know, in the region, but there are a few outliers, right? There are a couple that don't quite match. And so when incentive is being calculated, uh, the Yuma consensus takes this into consideration and the validators that are a little bit that are outliers aren't score, aren't given as much weight. Their, their scores are not counted as highly as the ones that match everybody else's. Here's another example where most of the validators are actually in quite good consensus, but you can see that this validator 103 is pretty far outside of consensus. So when the incentive score is being calculated, probably all the ones near that dotted line are going to be counted, but the one at 103 is going to be thrown out. So validators need to stay within the consensus. And if they're out of the consensus, that hurts their V-trust score. And the V-trust score leads to the emissions of the validators. So validators have an incentivization to stay near the consensus. And we can actually see that in this chart. We can then pull out the V-trust for all of the validators. And we can see that the uh, V-trust, the validator trust for 103 is 81%, whereas uh, 107, which is right here on the line, is at 97%. So they're out of, their, their trust is lower, which means they're going to get lower emissions. So to calculate the incentive, we're going to add up the weight from all of the validators. Now, to make things confusing, we're going to take a weighted average of the weights. Naming things is a little hard sometimes. And the weight, the weights are weighted by the amount of stake that the validator has. So if the validators with more stake, their weights are weighted higher. And again, I apologize for the nomenclature, but that's where we are. Now, the other factor that comes into play is how close you are to consensus. And the closer you are to consensus, 
those scores will be weighted higher as well. So those ones that were way out of consensus may get a zero. Ones that are a little further out may get a little less consensus. And from that, we can calculate the incentive score for all of the miners in a subnet. And so that's a brief overview of how incentive is calculated. I know we didn't show the exact mathematics. I haven't been able to actually find those exacts math without going into the code, but it gives a general idea that validators want to score all of the miners within a consensus range. And then all of those scores are lumped together to create the incentive score. Thanks for watching. And you can see all of these details inside Tau Stats in our Metagraph chart. Subscribe for more videos about the BitTensor network. And if you have any questions, join our Discord. We'd love to help. Thanks for watching.